Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. I'm out for a nice walk and talk video again here in an arboretum near where I live and it's really a pretty place. It's early morning and it's an overcast day and I was hoping that this early morning and overcast would be able to give us some good color in the video. Now I'm carrying my iPhone on a gimbal so hopefully the iPhone will be staying steady and even if I go up and down as I walk then hopefully the camera won't get you seasick or motion sick as we go through here. But I'm going to talk to you today about a really fun game that my daughter Shelly and I invented many years ago. Let's get started on that. Most of you at least know about the word game Ghost, and this is something that you usually play when you're in a car going somewhere. And you can do it at home, you can do it in a restaurant, and basically it's a word game where you have to add a letter to spell the word. And the word has to be more than three letters. And for example, somebody would start off saying, all right, I'm gonna start the word with B. And then it's the next person's turn to add a letter and they add L. And then it goes back to the first person or you can play it with three people or even four people. And the next person in line adds another letter. Okay, the word so far is BL and I'm gonna add U. And then it goes back to the next person. Now the object is not to spell a word because if you spell a word, then uh, you lose and you get a letter in the word ghost, G-H-O-S-T. And it goes back and forth enough times such that when you spell the word, you get a letter in the word ghost. And first person to spell a word, they get a G. And then the next time that person spells a word, they get the H. And in the game, the first person to get G-H-O-S-T loses. Now, if you have more than two people playing, then the first person who gets to spell ghost, they're out of the game, and the people who are remaining continue. I have some commentary on games with winners and losers, and I'll talk to you about that at the end of this video. But for now, we're just talking about the word game ghost. Now, this is the original word game. We didn't invent the word game ghost. Um, I'm going to tell you what we invented here in just a little bit. The word game ghost is an excellent word game for parents and children, especially while the children are learning to spell. And of course, everybody needs to learn how to spell if they want to function in society, because if you write things and you spell them incorrectly, then you lose some credibility. And that's one of the good reasons for learning to spell correctly. And when you play a game like this, where it's fun to know how to spell, then it's much more motivation for people to learn how to spell correctly. So that's one of the great things about the word game ghost. Another thing is that it's a good challenge for both adults and kids, motivation to learn how to spell correctly and to think about words and how they are spelled is one of the great reasons for playing a game like this. Now, after you play this for a while, and basically it's a number of years, you can play it with kids, say starting about age eight, nine, or 10. One of the things that happens is that by the time the kids get into their teen years, you've pretty much exhausted all of the easy words that they don't want to spell in the game. So I began thinking about how can we make the game more interesting? And it's really simple and it increases the difficulty of the game by at least an order of magnitude. And what I started thinking was, what if we don't just add a letter on the end, but we also 
allow, you can add the letter at the end or at the beginning. And we tried that and it worked so well, we figured we had to name it something. And we went through a whole bunch of names and the name we came up with was, it's not exactly adequate, but it's the only thing we could think of at the time. And we came up with Ghost Most. So we thought about Ghost XL, Ghost, Ghost Max, Ghost, just many other names. And just none of them seemed to fit. And the word Ghost Most, it has a little bit of a rhyme to it. And so we went ahead with that one as our uh, name for the game. And if anybody has a different name for the game, go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what you think that name ought to be. But I got to tell you, when you allow adding letters at the end of the word or at the beginning of the word, this game takes on an entirely new perspective. It takes on a level of difficulty that is quite a bit more thought provoking than the original game of Ghost. For example, let's say you really want to challenge your partner or the other players in the game and you start the word W and the other person, they want to challenge you and so they add K. All right, so now we've got a word that's got WK in it. Now, if this were just the beginning of the word, that would pretty much be impossible. But because it can be in the middle of the word or at the end of the word, meaning you can add a letter at the beginning, it now opens up a whole world of possibilities. For example, in that word that we were just starting, we have WK. I would think about that for a second and I would say, hmm, okay, at the beginning, K. So now we have KWK. Now this would be a real challenge to most people. Can you think of what word has KWK in it? Ah, that's a very challenging word. You can see how this is much more difficult than just the original game of Ghost. And if you can think of what that word is, put it in the comment section and tell me if you got that word. And I'll tell you now, and this is Spoiler alert, so write the comment if you, have, if you have thought of the word. And the word is awkward. A-W-K-W-A-R-D, awkward. And you can see how this just makes it a whole order of magnitude more difficult than the original game. Now let's go over a couple of more rules in this game. There, you can bluff. If you bluff and the person says, I give up, I don't know what the word is, then they get the letter in the word ghost, or they can challenge. Now, in challenge, they say, okay, you've got WKW, and I have no idea what word that could be. I challenge you. And when they challenge you, then you have to know what word that is, and the person, the other people in the game have to agree, yeah, that's a real word. And when they challenge you or you challenge them, if they have a real word with that letter combination, then they win the challenge. And if, if you challenge them and they don't have a word, then you win the challenge. Okay, I to make sure I was saying that correctly. So, you know, there, there's, there's some good fairness rules here. You can bluff. Now, if we came up with that letter combination, WKW, oh, it was the other way around, wasn't it? KWK. If we came up with that letter combination, KWK, and somebody challenged me, then I would definitely have a word that fit it, and they would have to concede that, yes, I won the challenge. So, anyway, the game of Ghost Most is a very fun game to play, very challenging, and especially for when you have teenagers and you're going somewhere like in the car, you need to fill up some time like when you're in a restaurant waiting for food, you can play the game and it really helps pass the time. Plus it educates and inspires them and lets them know 
my goodness, maybe I really do need to learn all this stuff I've been being taught in school. Now, I wanted to tell you about games where people win and lose. For the most part, I am not in favor of games like this because somebody pretty much always has to lose. Now, where there's a, only one winner and one loser in one game, that's going to make somebody feel bad because they lost. However, in a game like Ghost or Ghost Most, you can have people win rounds. And, for example, at the end of the game, you'll have one winner where one person is out because they spelled ghost. They have lost five rounds of it. But the other person could have a G-H-O-S where they've lost four rounds of it. And so everybody's got some wins and some losses. And that's not quite as bad. So that's my philosophy on games. And generally... I don't like to play games because of this. I don't like it that somebody has to lose. I don't like it when I lose, and I don't like watching other people feel bad when they lose. And so something like Monopoly, there is usually always a big winner and everybody else is a big loser. And it's just not fun to me. Now, if you feel differently, I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Just leave me a comment down in the comment section. But other than that, it's good to find games where we have people who can win multiple times and where one little loss isn't the end of the game. And that's my philosophy on gaming. So as always, I would really like it if you like this video and thought it was worth sharing, especially worth YouTube recommending to other people, go ahead and give me that thumbs up and YouTube will then know they should recommend this to other people, and it will encourage me to keep making videos like this. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. I really enjoy reading your comments. I read every single one. And so far, with more than 15,000 comments on my channel, I have answered every single primary comment. Now, when there's comments on comments on comments, I don't usually get to those because that's just more depth than is convenient for me to answer with all these comments coming in. But I do answer every single one of the primary comments. So thank you for commenting. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate every subscriber on this channel. And if you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon. And YouTube will send you an email letting you know when we post another great video right here on the David's Tutorials and Vlog channel. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.